Hello folks and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you what processing I do on symbols. Right yeah I thought we'd uh, do a, another bit of a mixing video tutorial whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it'd be a tutorial it's just one or two things I've picked up here and there from such guys as uh, Bobby Torres at Frightbox Recording, Jordan Valarantine, and one or two others. Don't start off with I'll play through the the symbols without any the processing on. I'm including overage in this because that's the main track that I use for symbols. So this is what they sound like without any processing on. So as you can hear, as with any raw symbols, it's pretty harsh sounding. But the first thing I do is I'll put either some sort of saturation plug-in on, maybe a tape saturation or just a, an inbuilt saturation program or a deesser. And on this track, I've got a deesser, the Dazool on there from Ugritone so this is what uh, it sounds like with the DSR on it just, just darkens the uh, the symbols off a little bit just just to take uh, that, all that brightness off just, just darkens them down a bit Right, so I'll start off with the overhead since that's the main track, so I'll load that one out second. So after that, i just put some EQ on there. So we've got high pass filter at uh, around about four and a half, five hundred 500 hertz. Got a little bit of notching there. What's that notched out at around about 3k. A little bit of 8k out there as well. So I'm just finding that on this particular set of symbols they were just quite annoying. And I have got a, a low pass filter in there at just over the 11k. Sometimes I don't put one in, sometimes I do. For this track, I, I did. And this is what the overhead sound like with the EQ on. And as you can hear, we're taking the, the high pass filter all the way up to that sort of 500 hertz. You're taking a lot of uh, the, the shells out of uh, out the equation. I mean, with it being in cult drums, it's just being up. I could just take the shells down altogether, but I'd just leave a little bit in there just for personal thing. So, and the thing I've just started doing recently, um, because this is not your traditional stereo pair track where you can hard pan left and right everything's going down the center so it's still sounding quite mono even though you can pan them in the program itself i have started use, using a, a widener so I'll, I'll just play the overheads through and then i'll just show you what it sounds like uh, with putting the wider in Well, as you can tell, with the one zero percent, everything's obviously down the middle. And then as you bring it back out, 
it's spaced and symbols out a bit so yeah like i said that's something I've, I've just started doing recently and uh yeah just started doing it on on a couple of mixes recently and it's uh it's sounding a lot better so I, I think this is something i'm going to uh, start doing uh, uh more often so then we'll move on to the symbol track itself and th these are the the more sort of closer mics for your uh, crashes splashes uh, chinas and things like that and then th they all just get routed out to one individual track so with the dissolve on on its own this is what that sounds like <laughs> And then all I've got on there is just some EQ, taking a bit out at around about 500 hertz, another notch out at 1200, uh, 4.2k, and then I've got a low shelf in at 8k just to just to bring that uh, harshness down, that top end harshness, and this is what that sounds like with the EQ on. And you see, just just taking those annoying frequencies out. I mean, they're not set of frequencies; another set of symbols. It'll sound, it'll possibly be a totally different set of frequencies that you notch out. No, on, there's no ride on this track, but the only processing I do on ride is I just put the um, saturation slash de in there. Because what I find is rides aren't as harsh as other symbols. You may need to just notch something out here and there but very lightly if if anything uh, but yeah on on rise i just tend to put that on and it tends to work and then on hi-hats we've got the dissolve in so let's see what that sounds like and then the eq and i've got on there We've got the high pass filter again. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not shy with the high pass filter on symbols. Got that up to uh, all the way up to six and a half hundred hertz. And then we've got the low pass filter in at around about 12k. And what we've got notched out, a bit of 1500. Yeah, just got a bit of 1500 knocked out there just to take that really crispy papery nastiness taken out and this is what hi hat sound like with the pro with the eq on and then we've got all that routed out to a symbol submix where I've got EQ on there, just notching some nasty frequencies out there, and a little bit of light compression. So with the EQ on, this is what it all sounds like. And then with the compression on, and uh, you'll notice it's only a slight touch of compression if you just watch the meter up here. And then symbols, I have them routed to an effects channel which on there I've just got a bit of distortion in there and then all that gets rooted into a drum stem uh, and then from the drum stem into the master fader so that's 
all the processing I have on symbols so hopefully that'll help one or two people now let me know what you think in the comments that's all for this video and I'll catch you in the next one right folks I hope you enjoyed that video you can follow me on social media and you can get my music online and if you want to support the channel there's uh, buy me a coffee and paypal links they're all down in the description click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen keep it loud and keep it heavy